Wind shear is a major factor in strong and severe storms and tornadoes. Let's get the latest on that. Kind of define wind shear for us, Chris. Thanks a lot, Larry. We're always here to raise your weather IQ. So when you hear wind shear, most people think, oh, this is associated with just tornadoes. Well, actually, wind shear is one of the key components to turn a thunderstorm into a severe thunderstorm. And I'm going to show you what's happening right now. So this area of blue that you're looking at, those are shear tracks. So that's where you have an enhanced wind shear. And wind shear, by definition, is the change of wind direction and or speed with height. So since we see it so strong right along the back end of this front through Lexington and Columbia, South Carolina, that's why this just triggered a severe thunderstorm warning. So the big four that you need to form a thunderstorm in general to severe thunderstorm is moisture, instability, lifting, and the last one is wind shear. So there's two types of wind shear. There's one where you can increase speeds with height. So the stronger the winds are aloft, it tilts the thunderstorm. That actually brings the rain ahead of the updraft. And if I just backtrack that we're seeing here, we're seeing a lot of that type of shear with this front. And the reason why is because of all that rain that is right in front of it. So that's why you're seeing the back edge of it has that severe thunderstorm warning. The front in general is just tilting and that is allowing for a strengthening situation. Meanwhile, there's also a change of direction and this is what really causes tornadoes. When you have winds say out of the south and winds out of the west, uh, anywhere from a mile or two up in the atmosphere, that'll twist a thunderstorm that can strengthen it, but also lead to a tornado potential. And that's exactly what we're going to see a little bit later on. Those arrows are going to be crossing in the eastern side of the Carolinas. That's why once we hit some of that peak heating of the day, we have a low to a moderate chance for a redevelopment of tornadoes on this line for the eastern North Carolina and that includes Virginia as well. Be